We're back with a News Channel exclusive. A Central Coast farmer stretched to the limit trying to sustain her family and her business all on her own. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti visited the young mother at her farm in Santa Ynez. It's lunchtime at Bindi Farms. Where Lauren Majowski spends hours feeding these animals every day, all 200 of them. Dairy cows are dairy goats. We have about 80 pastured ducks, over 100 chickens. Her six year old daughter, Ava, knows all the animals. That's Rosie, and those are her babies. She also knows just how hard her mom works to keep the farm running. She likes, does everything for the animals. Sorry, sorry. Rajowski says it was her dream to run a farm, but that dream took a turn. You know, the other night I was pushing the hay cart across the pasture. We had no hay left for the next day, and I clocked my 18th hour of the day and just had to stop and think for a minute. You know, my bank account had $8 in it. The drought, excessive heat, and record inflation have taken her once prosperous operation to the brink. So the birds all started laying earlier than normal. It basically their whole cycle sped up this year. We get five to six dozen eggs a day. Uh, this week we got one single egg. They have super hard shells. Adding to what's already a challenging time, Rozowski says her cows are eating food faster than she can dish it out. They are literally eating money right now. That green stuff looks like hay, but it's not. It's like dollar bills I just throw on the ground. In the last eight months, Rozowski says the cost to feed her animals went up by 50 percent. Farm costs have increased so much that at this point we're just trying to sustain operations. Despite the challenges of sustaining a small farm, Rozowski says she still takes the time to appreciate each animal, big and small. <laughs> As Rozowski perseveres... This is very emotional for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when your livelihood is a huge part of who you are. Ava, too, fights on as the heart and soul of the family farm. We raise the baby goats and Kiara and Zemo. The single mom is turning to family education, volunteer recruitment, and selling dairy products in an attempt to save the family business. So people, you know, signing up for uh, raw goat's milk, raw Jersey cow milk. Look, she can shake. And although the future remains to be seen, Ava and her mom won't be parting with this farm family anytime soon. In Santa Inez, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.